in case we have to go to the basement. Holy crap. CP24 like live at 10, a state of emergency declared in Angus, oh west gosh, of Barrie, yeah. after a vicious tornado tears through town. No reports of injuries, but damage is extensive. As many as 60 homes in the community have been heavily damaged. Some reports from the scene suggest seven or eight of them will have to be rebuilt. Also ahead tonight, the storm brings down one hydro pole after another on the Markham Toronto border. Thousands are without power here, but also in pockets across the city. We'll have more on that in just moments. Okay, so we have to go to the basement. Holy crap. Unplug your computer. And we begin tonight with this frightening video from west of Barrie in the town of Angus. This was the scene late this afternoon as a fierce tornado tore through town. A state of emergency has been declared and you can see why. This video shows the strength and speed of the storm as it cut a swath of damage around 520 this afternoon. Described as a swirling mass of thunder and lightning, it blew out windows, tore up fences, and sheared off the tops of many homes. Remarkably, no serious injuries reported. I just saw a wind tunnel coming through. I was on my patio. I ran for the garage, or for the basement. Yeah. There was two birds in the sky, and they were being pulled separately. Right. And when I went to my basement, there was a window there, and I looked out, and there was a car. She was looking at the sky. She backed up and took off. I went downstairs, tried to reach them, and when I came back out, it was clear. It was gone. Then notice out the window, rain, high winds, and then I noticed fire on fifth line, on the hydro lines, heard a big boom, and then our whole backyard was disrupted with uh, siding, roof uh, shingles flying everywhere, garages flying everywhere, and then we noticed across the road on Banting Avenue that roofs were gone. Um, I was making supper for my kids and I looked outside and the front looked um, horrible and in the back my tree went down, my playhouse went against the shed and I just took my kids, ran downstairs, closed the door and hid for a little while and when I came back up I couldn't believe what I saw. And this is what people saw. In one Angus neighborhood, the extent of damage is mind-numbing. Rows of homes have lost their roofs and damage is widespread. Emergency crews will be on the job for days to restore power and help residents find accommodations. As many as 60 homes were damaged and up to half of them sustained significant damage. Seven or eight homes were hit so hard by the storm they will likely have to be rebuilt. Yes, I just did a drive around uh, a while back. I'm back at uh, Control Central here. I would say probably at least 60 homes, uh, major damage. Probably, I would think probably seven or eight that are uh, to the point where I don't, I don't think they'll be rebuilt. Uh, many, many, many things uh, strewn all over, over, over the neighborhoods. Uh, huge, huge trees, all knocked down. Uh, it, it's, it looks, it looks really, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like a war zone here. And let's take you live to Angus right now. CP24's Jackie Crandles is there. So what is the latest there tonight, Jackie? Hi, Kyle. We're on Stone Mountain Crescent, which is one of two streets in Angus that was most severely hit by this tornado. Hard to see in the dark, but the roofs of some of these homes completely ripped off. There's one home a little further down the street. Uh, not just the roof has come off, the entire top of the house is completely gone. Backyards completely leveled. Uh, also damaged the street directly behind the one that we're on, and that is where Vanessa lives. Vanessa, you watched this tornado as it approached. Take us back to that moment what you saw and what you heard so I was in my living room and I saw the dark clouds coming I went to my sliding glass door took a look outside and I'm thinking what the heck and all of a sudden my ears popped and I saw the tornado go between me and this house right here and next thing I know I've got um, fence boards flying through my wall and pushing my couch into my living room and all the shingles are gone so the damage so severe in your backyard that the debris flew through glass windows it went through the wall the drywall the windows are intact. So, yeah, it was probably the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced in my life. Sounds as though there wasn't even enough time for you to seek cover. No, no it was like gray out, and then all of a sudden it was just, it went dark, and then it just came out of nowhere. It was crazy. 
So when you obviously, you know, reemerge from your home once the storm had passed and you see the damage not only to your own home, to your backyard, but to your neighbors as well, yeah. what goes through your head? That I got off pretty lucky. Like, my little hole in the wall is nothing compared to what these guys have had to deal with. Like, their roofs are gone, the other one has a second floor gone, so... I was pretty lucky. How would you describe the damage? Because we can only see so much because of uh, how far the police are allowing us. That obviously, their uh, safety is of the utmost concern, and some of these homes are not structurally sound. When you see the damage or when you saw it, you know, how would you describe it? Devastating. It, you don't think it's ever going to happen to you, right? Like, you hear about it, and then, like, literally, the roofs are ripped off the homes. Like, there's nothing. So what does this mean for you going forward? We're out of our house for two days, um, and then I don't know what from there, just get my house fixed. Where are you so, going to stay? I'm staying with my friends. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Vanessa. Good luck in the days ahead in the cleanup and in getting your, your house restored as well and to your neighbors as well. We understand from the OPP that a total of 300 residents have been impacted by uh, this storm, not just in this one neighborhood. Uh, about 30 of those individuals uh, are not able to return home. The damage to their homes is so extensive. There, of course, is the local arena that has been opened up as a reception center and uh, the local police force encouraging folks that need some shelter to go there but it sounds as though the majority of people that are out of their homes for tonight and probably the foreseeable future have somewhere to stay with family or friends. Back to you. All right, that's CP24's Jackie Crandall's live in Angus tonight. Thank you. And Jackie